Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video, I am going to discuss one very very important concept related to morphological image processing and that is morphological reconstruction, okay? Reconstruction from the name itself, we can understand that something will reconstruct, okay? Some small part will be given, will be making one bigger part like that, right? That's what will happen. I will be explaining later, you can understand easily, okay? So, Whatever example related to morphological image processing I have shown in my previous video, for all those examples, there were two input. One is our structuring element and another one is our input image. That input image was, input image was grayscale or binary image and the structuring element we have taken according to our requirement. That may be square shape, that may be rectangular shape, that may be line shape element that may be diamond shape that may be disc shape different things we have taken and i have shown you the application image opening image closing dilation erosion top head transformation bottom head bottom head transformation and all those right now the fundamental difference in between morphological reconstruction and those fundamental operation is in case of morphological reconstruction we will be taking three input in image okay or three inputs one is our original image, one is one image on which we will be applying the morphological operation that may be erosion or dilation and another one is obviously the structuring element, okay. So, three input, okay. Remember, the original image is called mask, okay. Why mask? You will be clearly understanding when we'll, I will show you the example. The image on which we will be applying the morphological operation is called marker, okay? And another one is no doubt our structuring element, okay? I am writing the MATLAB code, MATLAB function step, STREL, okay? So, this is what is the fundamental difference between other operation and this reconstruction, okay? I hope it is clear. Now let us go to example and try to understand the algorithm. This is our original image. This is called mask. Okay. This is our image on which we will be applying morphological operation. This is called what? I have told you marker, right? And forget about this. This is our output. Okay. Not structuring element. Generally, we take structuring element as matrix of 1 of 3 cross 3 nature, okay? Now, what we do? Try to understand very carefully. Forget about the output first. See, first point to be noted, very, very important. The marker which we are taking at the initial step is the subset of our original image, okay? You can see this particular binary object is fitting in this. This particular binary object is fitting somewhere here and this particular binary object is fitting somewhere here, right? And what we are getting out after applying, you can clearly see those regions where our marker is subset of our original binary image. Those binary objects, okay, only we are reconstructing in our output, okay? So this is the concept of reconstruction and how we are doing that? Very simple, the algorithm is, see, first step, suppose the initial marker is F, okay, which is subset of G. Now, now you may ask what is G? G is my original image, that is this one, okay. Now, what I will do, try to understand very important part, suppose the structuring element name is B, okay, e at the initial stage, okay, this marker is F, what we do? we simply apply dilation of our this particular marker with the structuring element B. And as a result, when you apply the dilation, what will happen? They will be expanded, right? Because dilation results into binary object expansion. Now, the expansion should be such that it will follow our original object okay so once we have applied the dilation what we will do we will take intersection of the dilated image with our original mask each time okay so in the first step this is f right 
so what we are doing if dilation with our structuring element b and then we are taking intersection of our mask g okay then in the suppose this is the intermediate step maybe we can define as h of k where k goes 1 2 3 like that then this image di dilated output and after taking the intersection whatever we will be getting that we will be using for next iteration and we will be implementing the same okay so as a result we can say the general expression like this h of k plus 1 equal to h k dilation with our structuring element and then taking intersection with our original image g so as a result what is happening the mask is not allowing our dilation output to go beyond its original binary object okay so suppose the uh, after dilation some at some position the complete dilated image become this one but when you are taking intersection then again it will take the shape of this particular object only okay so the mask is basically acting like one constraint of the dilation okay and this is the formula okay i hope you can understand now when you will stop your iteration when your this particular marker at any at any instant when h of k will be equal to h of k plus 1 that means those particular uh, marker after applying successively this particular formula have got the complete shape of our original mask binary object that is this 3 1 2 and 3 and as a result we'll stop the iteration and we'll be getting this as output so basically from a small subset of our binary object we can reconstruct the whole binary object present in our binary image not other part only those part for which the marker is subset of our original image right so i hope you have understood this and just check this example your all doubts will be completely clear this is our original image which is basically our mask okay or constraint of our dilation okay now suppose after applying some random operation image processing algorithm we have got this particular two points as our binary output final image don't consider this border okay this border is only shown to make you understand that our marker objects are subset of our original image see this particular two marker are basically subset of our binary image original binary image objects right so to, to show that only this borders are present nothing else now what we do we apply successive iteration of structuring element as Uh, matrix of three cross three, where all elements are one, and then we apply dilation. And after applying each time dilation, what we do? We take intersection with the original image. Now see, these two particular parts are belonging to this original object and this object, right? So at the end, we need to reconstruct these two. How it is happening? So first of all, we apply. dilation so as a result we are as we are applying square shape so initial stage it will be going like this but when you will be taking intersection of these two image see those parts which are not matching like this part consider this particular outer part it is coming due to dilation but it is not present in our this object so when you take intersection it will be removed okay only that part will be remaining which is common right so as a result Uh, at some random step in the middle of algorithm you will be getting like this see successive you can understand that successively we are applying square shape dilation okay and taking intersection for both the binary object then uh, if you apply some more iteration you will be getting like this apply some more iteration you will be getting like this okay and after applying some more iteration your completely this two image will be reconstructed and then if you apply dilation also and when you take the intersection with your original image you, there will be no change and as a result you will stop your iteration and see how beautifully from a, from one small subset you have completely reconstructed your those two object binary object present your or, present in your original binary image which are basically a uh, bigger set of our original starting point of marker right so this is the concept of morphological reconstruction 
सिंपल आइडिया सो लेट मी जस्ट समराइज द एल्गोरिथम वंस मोर इनिशियलाइज योर मार्कर व्हिच इज सबसेट ऑफ योर ओरिजिनल बाइनरी इमेज ओके एंड देन चूज द स्ट्रक्चरिंग एलिमेंट ऑफ वंस लेट मी राइट द मैटलैब कोड ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरिंग एलिमेंट सो वी आर यूजिंग दिस ओके वंस 3 दैट्स ऑल okay there is 3 cross 3 matrix where all elements are one and then each time we are applying dilation taking intersection applying dilation taking intersection okay and we will stop when our at any instant at any stage our marker image will be equal to our previous step marker image that's all so this is on iterative procedure okay so the fundamental idea is the difference here three things we need to take input one is original image one is our marker another one is our structuring element this original image is also called mask and i hope you have understood why this is called constraint of our transformation okay because this is restricting because we are taking intersection so whatever outer part it is uh, we are getting due to dilation those are removed okay completely first uh, away okay so basically this is our constraint we have to follow this particular binary image and we need to reconstruct okay that's all for my this video in my next video i, I will be showing you matlab implementation im reconstruct is the inbuilt function to apply this iterative procedure because you can understand you can apply this simple algorithm by your own also okay no problem in that there is inbuilt function also im reconstruct so i will appreciate you to go to methods documentation of im reconstruct and check the examples so in our next video we can easily understand those okay take that and this is all for my this video thank you for watching